Hi everyone, welcome to Tony Fox Tarot. Thanks for joining me today and great to have you with me. Now, today we're looking at the future outcome between you and this other person. Where's it all going? We'll look at the circumstances between the both of you. We'll get an understanding of who this other person is. How do they think and feel about you and what's going on? And where are you at with everything? How do you think and feel about them? And most importantly, we'll look at the outcome between the both of you. Now, lots to get through, but before we get started, if you would like to go down below and hit subscribe, Tap on the bell icon while you're there, that'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. Please like and share this video where you can. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what is it that I do, and how it is that you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Now, before you're on the screen, we've got four different cards, and the idea is to choose a card that resonates with you really clearly. Once you've made that choice, that will be your reading. It's perfectly fine to choose more than one card if it comes to you really strongly. And just remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave behind anything that doesn't. Okay, we've got card one, card two, card three, and card four. Taking a moment to be with the cards, drawing in a nice deep breath. And as you release the breath, listening to your intuition, your inner voice, the energy of the cards. Which of these cards resonates with you the clearest? Is it card one, card two, card three, or card four? Down below, there are four different timestamps representing each of these different cards. If you'd like to go to the one that you've chosen, I'll see you in a moment. Hi everyone, welcome to card number one. So we're here with the cards on the table and we're looking at the future outcome of this connection between you and this other person and um, lots to jump into here. And, and you know, like I really feel that, that, that for you, there is a huge amount of um, vulnerability with regards to this particular connection. And I'm going to start up here with the Tower and the Ten of Pentacles. And I felt that this other person was really wanting to establish, um, you know, some firm roots in terms of a connection with you. I, I felt that they'd invested quite a lot in you as, as, as a person and that they, that they wanted the full deal, actually. You know, Ten of Pentacles, it's all about um, family and settling down in a kind of almost traditional way, you know. Um, it's connecting into the experience of community and wider family and, you know, building a future that actually gives security and underpins, you know, your hopes and your dreams as far as the idea of maybe something that's a little bit fairy tale in some ways. Um, but it's paired with the tower and the tower is all about, you know, destabilization in terms of, um, you know, the underpinnings being too weak to be able to support that particular view. So I feel like this person at the moment really has, um, you know, this really deep feeling that they've lost everything that they were kind of working towards. Uh, I kind of feel like there's a sense of betrayal here, betrayal of their values, um, a portrayal of everything that's actually been established with you as an individual. Um, they feel very volatile at the moment, very insecure. They're quite devastated because they feel that whatever it is that they were working towards with you in terms of the commitment with you is just not possible. I go as far as to say that they feel that the rug has been pulled out from underneath their feet. You know, there's a sense of sabotage here, you know, that you've... You know, because the Ten of Pentacles, you know, the, the, the stakes are really high with the Ten of Pentacles. You know, there's a lot of investment there. Um, there's a richness to it. You know, everything's pinned on it in a way where it sort of symbolizes something that is, once again, almost like a fairy tale in some ways. You know, it's, it's working towards very high ideals. The expectations and the gravity placed on those expect expectations is very high. And so for it to come crumbling down around your ears, you know, there's a, there is a lot to lose for this person and they feel very, they feel very insecure all of a sudden. They just, they're like a fish out of water. They don't know where to turn. They don't know what to do. I really felt more intuitively that there was, there was a lot being said behind the scenes to perhaps friends, maybe family. This person um, has turned to other people for support. 
turn to them for their point of view. Um, I, I think it's been very obvious that this person has not been dealing with the situation so well. And so a lot of people have actually kind of run to this person's aid in a way where maybe they need, you know, just need some comfort. Um, and yeah, fall into pieces. You know, essentially that's what I get here at the center of this particular reading. And if I look in contrast with where you're at as a person, you know, I really felt that for you, um, that you've come to this point you know, that you've just like identified, it's just like different goals, different objectives. You're not on the same, you're not on the same page as this person. You're much more in your head about the experience. Uh, there's almost like, I kind of feel like there's been a big fallout here. I mean, the, you know, the Five of Swords indicates that there is some sort of a, a tussle, you know, maybe some words have been exchanged. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe it's gotten quite heated and boiled over in a way where people have become a bit aggressive towards each other. And I feel a lot of vulnerability here for you. I feel a lot of vulnerability about what's been going on with this particular person. I feel like you, you've been very defensive, you know, um, that your guard has been up because you have felt so sensitive and vulnerable about the topic, about what's going on between the two of you. You've been vulnerable to their response. Um, I think also though, you know, like the, the Five of Swords indicates, you know, like, like, like past experiences as well. Like the swords are all about the past. You know, I think there's a lot of conflict from your past experiences that have left you to feel maybe that what you and this other person were kind of gravitating towards isn't really what you want. Or that you've at least had maybe some conflict within yourself about whether that is what you want for yourself as a person. Um, yeah, I, 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 so, so the core, the core values don't correspond, you know, like it's, it's like this person is working, working towards something that has, you know, really, a really strong foundation, you know, they're really invested in what's going on with you. They really feel dedicated to you in a way where they, they, they want to bring it to full fruition. They, they're, they're, they're all, they're all guns blazing on board with you in a way where, you know, they wouldn't think twice about it. Whereas you, there's a lot more. There's a lot more conflict within you about whether this is really what you want. You know, the star is all about aiming towards your goals, your objectives. Um, I think maybe, maybe for some of you, maybe there's a there's, there's a lack of total belief that this person is committed to to you. Um, I'm gonna have to go back because you know, if I come back to the past for you, and there's death and the and and and, and the nine of cups. I actually feel that backing up to this point that you know maybe when you met this person for some of you that you'd actually come from a very difficult period in your life um maybe you weren't looking for anything too deep i mean the nine of cups is you know like there's a superficiality about it you know like it's a it's a complacent card but it's sort of it's a little guarded and it doesn't have quite that full depth of meaning in terms of feeling fulfillment and, you know, death is an ending to a new beginning. So I kind of feel like there's some sort of big change for you before, you know, you'd actually met this person or at the time that you met this person. Maybe for some of you, you've come out of a relationship. Um, maybe for others, you've just kind of gone through some life cycle that's just left you feeling really... Yeah, like, like what am I... Re where am I going? What am I... Do? Maybe you're a little bit lost. Um, and again, I kind of feel like may maybe for some of you, you haven't experienced, you know, that 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 deep feeling of love. Maybe I, I get a real feeling here that maybe for some of you that you don't even believe that it exists in some way. And if it's not that you don't believe that it exists, it's that you don't trust other people to be able to give it to you in a way where you can depend on them. Yeah. You know, death and this card, the Nine of Cups. You know, there's, there's a feeling that you know things could always go wrong. That I'm a little bit guarded. That that yeah, I'm invested in you, but I'm not going to give you the full kind of experience. I'm not going to let my heart open right up and let you in in a way where this could really go deep. Because you know, I'm just, I just, I'm just not sure about. It. I'm not sold on this idea. I don't really know if I trust you enough. I don't know if I, I trust this idea of love. So I kind of felt. Um, in some ways, you've kind of almost been looking for, for a problem, looking for an argument against, you know, what's going on here. Um, I felt that when you met this person, you were still, still in a really deep sort of state of processing, whatever it has, whatever's been going on for you, you know, from, from either a previous relationship or this, this difficult situation that you've been going on in your life. I just feel like it's been a very difficult time for you. There's been a lot to go through in terms of process. And, um, it's, you know, like, I, I also felt here, you know, up here with the magician and the four of 
wands. It's like, <laughs> this person was really keen on you when they met you. It's like they really wanted to, to get to know you. They were really a little bit in your face, perhaps. Um, and, I, and I felt that it was fast moving, quite intense. Um, I think you got, got along really well and, and it all showed great promise. And, and then in, in many ways, I think you've just both gone with the flow, you know? Um, I think this person is very upfront, kind of what you see is what you get in many ways. I, 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 I get someone who's very motivated, very can do. The energy is very positive and yeah, just, just very, very, very upfront. And I felt that, you know, the, the both of you were, were, were mostly on the same wavelength. Um, but there wasn't, I don't feel a commitment here. You know, the magician is impulsive. It's striking things into action. It's about initiating, you know, a way forward. And, and you know, like it's, it's so, so, so there's a connectedness there between the two of you, but it's very much in the moment. And there's no map there to kind of say, this is what we're doing. It's just kind of like taking things as they come. You know, it's just feeling it through. And the four of wands, you know, like it's a reward card. You know, so there's a lot of reward there for the both of you in terms of the connection that you've had at a time where maybe it's been very difficult for you and that you haven't been looking for too much. You're not really wanting to go so deep, perhaps. And, you know, deep down there's reservation there, but having to go with the flow. And then, you know, as time moves on, you know, the, the things just evolve because that's what happens in relationships. You, you know, you, you take it to the next step and... You know, the connection gets a little bit deeper and then all of a sudden you realise you need to start making plans about things and engaging each other's commitment because, you know, <laughs> some people are looking, yeah, it's about communication. Some people are looking for something, some people aren't. So, so, so you know, I kind of feel where you've come to at this particular point is that this person is looking for the full deal. You know, they want to go deep into a relationship and, you know, there's just a very, a very strong um caution you know caution sensitivity to this idea of relationships like, i feel like for you as a person that you are a very sensitive individual we've got the moon and the star and death i think that you are very serious and very very, very um very uh, very real when you need to be I think you've had a, very, a lot of difficult times in your life. I felt like you'd actually, you know, there was a lot of struggle for some of you here. You know, I kind of feel like the, the, you are somebody who struggles through experiences in a way where, where you know, you have a high degree of sensitivity. I think what guides you at a deeper level is something that's less rational and more intuitive. But at the same time, there's a there's just a vulnerability there that things can go wrong. Because I think for you, a lot of things have gone wrong and you've left you to feel that you can't always rely on people. That people can be really nasty. I mean, you know, the five of well, five of swords. You know, people can be really nasty. They can, they can be um, attacking. You know, they can, they can be, they can be undermining. They can be uh, retaliative. They can be mean, nasty. They can be hurtful, physically, mentally, and emotionally, and also spiritually. And you're aware of that. You know, the thing is that you're aware of them. You've had these experiences in your life, and they've kind of anchored you in a way that leaves you feeling that some things aren't possible, you know? And your trust and your faith in other people is a big part of what that means in terms of opening up at a heart level, okay? So so, so, so I kind of, kind of feel this, this, this is, you know, I, 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 darkest fears, you know, this comes up for me here and, you know, and it really relates to the star and the five of swords. You know, it's that, it's that, that, that deep seated, struggle of, of really feeling like things can go wrong. It's very much in your mind, you know, at the forefront. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's really there at the forefront and it, it, it does cloud what's possible um, in a way where once you start to get in your head about it, that's all you see. And no matter which way you look or turn or, um, yeah, it, it it just it just it just seems to dominate the focus in a way that that that, that makes it into some kind of almost like sort of you know self perpetuating um, reality because you look because you you're, you're looking for that you know you're you're trying to in some ways you're trying to find it. Um, <clears throat> let's jump to the to to, to the you know, cut to the chase. Jump to the outcome here. You know where where is this actually going? You know, uh, and I feel. I feel if I come over here to the moon and the three of 
wands. I really felt that for you, that you that you, that you are really uncertain moving forwards. You know, I kind of don't feel like this is a, a, a like a fallout or an argument or a set of circumstances that has kind of drawn a line under the connection. I, I don't feel like it's all over. I feel like, if anything, quite the opposite. I feel like there is a momentum here that will actually rebuild towards an outcome that actually gives a really solid opportunity to make a go of this. And I feel that for you, despite how it is that you feel, um, you know, and there's a, still a lot of uncertainty there, but you will see the potential in terms of what this connection offers. And the ball is very much in your court. You know, this person is invested in you. They're open to the idea of this moving forward, but you need to be on board with it in a way where you feel that it actually has legs and it can move forward. I feel that you'll recognize a really strong desire for this person. You know, the wands, you know, they're all about desire. You know, a, you know it's, it's, it's about the fire. And, and, you know, the three of wands is about that sense of potential to open up, you know, opportunity and to kind of exploit it in some ways. It's paired with the moon, which is very intuitive, you know, still a little bit mistrustful, uncertain. Um, but either way, despite how it is you feel deep down, you'll give it another go because you can see that you really do need to. And I think that also you'll recognise you have this enormous um, desire for this person. And, and, and in many ways, this is about, you know, <laughs> developing, you know, your, your, your faith, you know, clarity of belief is a really important card because, you know, like, you know, you've got to get out of this, you've got to get out of this headset of, of, of your darkest fears. You know, this is in your head. It's not actually in your heart. A lot of what we're talking about here today in terms of your vulnerability is about your past experiences that play on your mind or about what you expect in terms of people, your lack of trust, your lack of faith in people, in humanity, really. And, and you know, you've got to get out of that because that's actually just like a broken down record. It's just like, a, you know, you're caught on this, this track that just keeps playing over and over and over again. And it reinforces this disbelief that, that, that you actually deserve something really amazing. You know, you, you're, you're thinking that all you deserve or, or that all that's ever going to happen is, is, is rubbish stuff, you know, really, really, really horrible stuff. The rea reality is, is that you need to kind of rewire this and, and start looking at, you know, what that belief is that you really want, you know, and you need to be clear about it. In other words, you need to set, you need to set your, your objectives, your goals, and you need to put them firmly in, in place and you need to come back to them in a way where you reinforce, you know, the objectives positively. So I, I, I do feel there's a potential for you to kind of make a transformative jump into this connection with this person and I felt, I felt that, you know, like, there was also, if we come up here to the world and the Seven of Pentacles, I felt that this person is fundamental to the potential of this connection. I feel that they're so invested in you. They really want to put down roots, of course. But I felt that, um, I felt that for you, um, they're, 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 gonna, they're not going to give up on you. This person refuses to give up on you and they'll continue to give to you in a way that invests into the potential of the future with you. They can see the success. You know, the world is all about success and fulfillment and they can see this enormous, enormous, you know, potential to actually have um, a future with you in a way that really, you know, you know, gets everything that the both of you, that the, that the both of you really want. I feel that this person is there for you. I feel that this person is there for you materially. I think that they're there for, for you holistically. I think that they're there for you emotionally. I think they're very patient and they're willing to give you the time that you need to get to a place where you feel more confident about where things are going. And I felt really strongly that this had a future. And I, I drew here the, the two of pentacles, which for me is a really dynamic and beautiful card that indicates that there's a very strong connection here between the two of you that anchors each of you in a way where there's a, there is a soul connection. You know, whether you want to call it twin flame or soul mate or, or whatever it is, you know, it's, it's kind of, you, you both orbit each other's world in a way where you're here to do some really solid work together in a way that links you in to enormous potential as a couple. There are things that you're going to realize together as two people that you would never realize on your own independently. And I felt that there was a very long standing potential for this particular connection to stand the test of time. And that despite your fears, your concerns, your anxieties, 
your sense of uncertainty about where this is all going and where anything is going with anybody that you open up to that, you know, this person would help you to overcome these issues in a way where you could become very sort of fully immersed into a relationship with someone who you could share your life with. So I feel this relationship is moving forward and that it has hit a glitch, but you'll overcome that. And there is enormous potential to have a very long standing connection with this person in a way that will give you enormous fulfillment. Hope this reading has made some sense. And if it has, go down below and hit subscribe. Tap on the bell icon, that'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. Please like and share this video where you can. And yeah, if you would also like to go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com, there's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my services as a tarot reader. So, yep, take care, thank you. Hi everyone, welcome to Card 2. This is your reading, and yeah, we're looking at the future outcome of this particular connection today. So, where's it all going? I, I, cards are on the table. I'm drawn up here to the Emperor and the Seven of Cups. And I really feel that this person that we're talking about today is not in the greatest place to be able to really understand what they want. I, I really feel that they're at a point in their life where there's a bit of a, almost like a bit of an identity crisis, really. Just very unclear from an emotional point of view as to their ability to map out what's going on between the two of you or where it's really going. They, they, they can't see the wood for the trees. I felt there was a lot going on in this person's life, a lot of distractions, um, a lot of mixed emotions. I feel that they're a little bit lost on their path in some way. So I kind of felt in, in, in terms of their maybe their personal or their professional ambition as to what they thought they were achieving at this particular point in time. I, I just, yeah, it's, it's almost like somebody's let a bomb off inside of them and they just can't really figure out what they want. And, you know, the Seven of Cups is a really difficult card because it really does kick up a lot of dust in terms of your emotions, you know? I, I feel that this person can't get a grip and ground themselves in a way where they feel present about what's going on between the two of you. Um, and I think that the harder you actually push on trying to get some clarity, the, the, the worse it actually becomes, the more confusing it actually becomes for them, the more, maybe this person's a little bit reactive as well. I mean, you know, when you can't see clearly like this, you know, it's it's very frustrating and it's coupled with the Emperor and the Emperor is a very strong energy. You know, it's, it's, it's a fueled energy that wants to really make it big. It's an ambitious card that wants to live up to certain expectations or to achieve, yeah, you know, goals and, um, you know, levels of achievement that are quite high reaching, you know? Um, and so this person really wants to figure it out. They really want to get clear. They really want to know how it is that they really feel about you, about what they want for the future, about what they want for themselves. But there's just so much going on in a way that is, is kind of counterproductive to that. You know, there, there is no, they, they can't see the wood for the trees. So lots of mixed emotions. And at the moment, I think that the, the, the tough part about what I'm feeling here is that they, they can't see the potential of where this is going. Um, and, and I really felt that this person was unable to commit to you in a way that gave you something solid to work for. Yeah, something to, solid to work towards. So a little bit messy, yeah? And I feel that by contrast, if we come down here to Temperance and the Six of Swords, I feel that you are so emotionally invested in this person in a way that, you know, you're keeping it all afloat. I felt that you were... Um, yeah, I felt that you were keeping it afloat. I felt that you, that, but, but I felt that you were treading water in a way that was unsustainable. It's like there's only so 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 much effort and energy you can put into this by propping it up, so to speak. You know, at, at some point, this person is going to have to learn how to swim with you. Yeah, in order to make this into a success, you you can't keep on 
putting all of yourself into it in a way where you become overly and not overly invested because I think you already are invested but I think overly responsible to actually make it work you know that this person needs to figure it out for themselves at some point and I felt you certainly understood what was at stake here and you know that that you know single-handedly you were keeping it all going keeping it all moving forward. I think that where, where I felt very strongly here, there's a lot of healing in here, okay? You know, I, I, I've, I pulled quite separately, I felt, I, I pulled healing. We've also got strength, which is a healing card. Temperance, was, which is a healing card. I felt that this person wasn't in a great place. I felt that they, they really needed to find healing for themselves. I feel like that your influence has been very healing on this person. Um, but I feel that more healing needs to be drawn into the relationship in a way that um, is very much focused singularly on this individual in a way that helps them to understand what the problem is for them, okay? Um, you know, that could be a lot of different things. It might be that this person needs some kind of medical assistance. You know, maybe maybe they're going through a maybe they're going through a bit of a depressive period. For some of you, that could be the case. You know, this seven of cups is a card that reflects depression. Un, you know, certainly deep seated un, emotional uncertainty. You know, it's 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 a cloudy experience that doesn't really get any clarity to be able to sort of see through it you know like it's 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 very confronting on that level because it's it's all about limitations so i felt you know perhaps that could actually be some sort of you know counseling or some kind of medical interaction in terms of you know addressing depression it could be holistic even you know maybe seeing an alternative practitioner to find some kind of support to 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 figure this out or it could be some sort of counseling you know, it could be counselling individually for this person, but it also could be counselling for the two of you because there's a lot of effort going into all of this by by you as, as well. So so perhaps it's about, about couples counselling. If I come back to the past, I feel that what makes this a really difficult uh, situation for, for you in particular is that things got off to such a great start. I, I feel like everything went off with a bang, you know, like it was a really positive dynamic interaction in terms of meeting each other. I kind of felt for some of you this could have been love at first sight. It just, just feels you know instantaneous and, and, and really dynamic and very bright and clear and I felt that the two of you were sort of thrown together in a way where it, it just, you know, like it just, yeah, the sense of potential as to what the two of you could achieve together was really enormous and, you know, you seem to have so much in common and the two of Pentacles is is a true reflection of that card. It's a real soulmate card on one level because it just shows this orbiting connect that connectedness that has this enormous sense of potential and it's coupled with the lovers which obviously fuels the intimacy and the love and the and and, and the really profound bond you know which the two of pentacles kind of you know it just it compounds that even more i mean this is a really intensive experience that you've actually started off with um in some ways, I kind of feel like there's a, you know, it's like you're a perfect match. Uh, and incredibly close. It's almost like you're just doing everything together all of the time. And you've been inseparable. You've been living in each other's pockets. But it's been completely cool because you get each other. You know, you balance each other out really nicely. You know each other really well. There's an enormous amount in common here. And there's a lot of love. You know, like this, this is the basis of this particular connection. It's like there's love here. There's purpose, there's soul in this in this relationship. And, you know, I feel I feel even, you know, maybe for some of you, maybe this connection goes way back. It could be previous lifetimes. OK, that's you know, that's where I how I feel about it. But it also could be throughout this life. You Maybe there's a strong connection, a historic connection. Maybe you've known each other from childhood or from your past. Um, and if that's not the case, maybe you just feel like you've known each other forever because you get along so well. Um, but you've made it work and I kind of felt the two of you have been on that same page. And I think for you more specifically, you know, like it just, everything for you has been very, um, it's like, this is it. This is the one, you know, the certainty, it just shines through here in a way that says Ace of Pentacles. I know exactly what I'm working with here. And I feel rock solid about it. And the Pentacles are all about being solid. 
they're fully, uh, you know, into a into into a state of fruition in a way that you know exactly what you've got to work with. There's no guessing it. You know, it's not it's not uncertain like the emotional state or the or, or, or the mental faculty. You know, with the pentacles, it's it's physically manifest. And I think for you, you've just come to this point where feeling very passionate about this person and 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 really, you know, this sense of of, of being filled with with you know totally solid potential as to where this can all go i think it's been really happy times between the two of you really really happy times i've got i've got also here coming together which reflects on what i'm seeing here you know the two of you are on the same page you're both drinking from the same cup you know you've come together in a way where there's purpose and a, and, and a mutual focus that really highlights this very beautiful connection in a way that gives you a full sense of duality yeah two is one right and you know, it, it, it's all—it's all just felt like it has so much to teach you and to give you in terms of fulfillment. You know, so there's been just no question about it. And I felt that 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 maybe even for the two of you, the Pentacles are also about finance, and perhaps the two of you have also been looking at money and security and figuring out what you can do for the future to invest into your into your relationship in a way that kind of, you know, re really makes it even more rock solid. Maybe maybe looking at opportunities to, to get ahead together in a way that manifests the relationship at a material level. I think you've been very patient with this particular person, very passionate, prepared to invest. You've seen the potential, but the two of you both have. It's, it's been equally reflected. And all of a sudden, this person's just going through this really difficult situation. You know, the emperor is a card of fatherhood and fathers. You know, I question that this person has been under a lot of pressure for a long time throughout their life, you know, um, to live up to some sort of expectation. If it's not about, about, about their father, it's about the system. You know, it's about living up to the expe expectation of, of, of the patriarch. Yeah, it's, it's about, you know, and all of a sudden they're questioning everything, questioning what it is that they've been working towards, questioning everything that they've been striving to achieve. Maybe they're questioning their father. Maybe they're questioning fatherhood for some of you. Um, but they're definitely going through an identity crisis of sorts that really is more reflective of their place in the world than it is really about you fundamentally because this relationship is anchored rock solid. This is more about a personal identity issue and, you know, this person's going through a bit of a, I'm not going to say a dark night of the soul, because I think that they can work this out. I think that this is a little bit more immediate than some deep seated, um, you know, transitional process. Yeah, it's, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not on that level. It's a little bit more immediate than that. I feel that they can get through this more quickly than, than, than that kind of process. Where's it all going? I mean, that's actually, that, let, let's cut to the chase and actually look at where it's all going. I really felt for you, okay, to over here with the hangman and the two of wands, I felt that you're, you know, you're gonna hold out for this person. Um, you know, you're keeping the light, keeping the light burning, you know, you're keeping the light going. You know, you, you, home, home is where the heart is and that is something that you're not gonna let go of. So I felt that you're holding on to hope that you are looking at this situation in a way where you are really considering all aspects from every different point of view. The hangman is all about perspective, really going deep into this experience in a way where you're trying to kind of unearth some idea that can really put light in, in into this situation in a way that gives you a new perspective. So I, I felt very a very contemplative period coming up for you, very reflective and definitely processing about where it all has been and where about about where it's all going not giving up and looking for new ways of living with this person. I did feel that for a lot of you, that perhaps this person is unable to actually commit to you at this point in time because they just can't see clearly. I've, I felt that perhaps this person needed some time out and needed to withdraw. And if they, they haven't done that physically, they've certainly done that emotionally. And, and you know, so, so they're, they're not present. This person is not present at this time. They're not able to, to give themselves over in a way that is fully connected. And so it's very hard to gauge where you are at with them. Um, but over here to the Sun and the Seven of Swords, I felt this person was returning home. They're, they're, you know, like the, the, seven, the Seven of Swords is a card that is taking back what is yours, yeah? It's 
It's, but it's also a very resourceful card. Sometimes it can be underhanded, but in the context of this particular connection with, with you, I felt that this was very positively aligned. It's fueled by the sun, which is a card of high vibration, positivity, and joy, okay? I felt that this person stepped outside the parameters of the connection, of the relationship, in a way that gave them um, new ways to kind of look at things. I kind of felt that they were really sorting their baggage out, uh, looking for new perspectives, but also developing new skills in a way that actually allowed them to bring something back to the connection with you so that you could move forward and find healing, okay? Um, my sense here is that this person, they, they, they figured it out. They figured out that they're really happy with you. They're coming back to you. Whatever it was that they stepped outside into, it's it's really shown them an experience that um, steps outside the sanctity of something that's actually really harmonious. And, you know, it's all about going back to the past with the swords, you know, and the seven of... Seven of Swords is looking back to the past and also looking to where things started in terms of the relationship. And that identifies directly back to the, the to, to the start point in terms of the connection that you have, the recognition of this soul connection, the recognition of this duality, the recognition of this dynamic potential to really be very happy together in a way where two is one. This person's coming through a difficult period. A final card that I've drawn is the Two of Cups. You know, it reinforces this idea of a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection, but also the intimacy I, I kind of feel that has really everything at the heart of this relationship. You know, the two of you will find a way forward through this. I don't feel that you're going to give up. I feel that this person needs some time out to figure themselves out, but they'll figure out what they need to figure out by offloading the baggage, coming back to this with a newfound focus that really centers on the relationship moving forward. So this future connection has the potential to rise up and really um, go to new heights in terms of the two of you having a very happy and very loving connection with each other. I hope this reading makes some sense to you. And if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can, hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon, that'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfogtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much and take care. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to card three. This is your reading and it's all about the future of this connection. So what's going on with you and this other person? Cards on the table, let's jump on in. I'm gonna start up here with strength and the king of swords and I felt this person that we're talking about is very push-pull, yeah? Um, I, I get a sense of, of unav unavailability at this point in time. I feel like this person is cut away from you. Um, they're, they're, out, they're out of the picture. Yeah, they're not on the scene. King of Swords is all about independence and taking control of the situation in a way where you are essentially putting your own needs first. And I, I felt that this person was quite ruthless in the way that they had um, disconnected from you. They put their own needs first in a way that's been very selfish. And I felt very clearly here that this person doesn't see a future at this particular time. Um, I really felt that they'd actually been quite heartless in the way that they've actually handled this particular situation. I feel it's them that's initiated it, them that's taken control. I feel it's all, all about them. You know, the King of Swords is a very cutthroat individual. You know, they, they, they really do divorce themselves from feeling in a way where they don't think twice really just to to act out however they feel that they need to in order to get whatever whatever it is that they want so you know there there, there, is, there is a a very strong element of control here and i felt that this person could be quite a deceitful individual at times you know there there is a that ruthlessness goes quite 
quite deep. I think it's it's sort of bone deep. You know, if I, I felt what you saw wasn't what you got. You know, you don't you don't know how to gauge the the full depth of this person's personality. They're quite complex. Um, you know, psychologically, there's a lot going on there in a way that I think there's definitely some insecurities that need to be. I, I, I guess covered up in a way where they, they they don't really want you to know how it is that they really feel. Um, you know, strength is a card that's that that, that has a, a lot of power in it. You know, like it's a it's, it's a very fueled card. Um, you know, there's definitely a, there's definitely an understanding of potential in strength. You know, and and this person doesn't. I I feel that what this person is saying that, that they don't see the potential in the connection with you at this particular time. It's all about my selfish needs first. It's all about me. It's all about what I want. Um, I feel like this person is somebody who wants to have the last word. You know, they can be very push-pull, very hot and cold, but it's all blowing in the direction that they want it to go in. Um, yeah, and they play for keeps as well. You know, if they want you... You know, it's 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 all about that. If they don't watch, it's all about that as well. You know, it's it's just that there's no there's no shades of grey there. It's 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 very it's very black and white in a way that it's it's sort of you know what I want when it suits me. Coming back over here to judgment and the seven of pentacles, and I felt if we kind of backing up more to the to to the past really as to what's brought it to this point with this person i felt that they they've all along been really cautious to invest in you and invest into this connection in a way that um is very hesitant towards any responsibility you know and i think the thing is when you have actually when, whenever you've actually pushed this person in a way that actually you know goes towards commitment or or or, or taking on I guess, you know, just more of an equal share in terms of what's going on between the two of you. You know, like there's always an excuse. There's always something that justifies why it is that they can't do that now, you know. Um, you know, so they're kind of looking at the issues, you know, that you might have actually brought up for them or that, are, or, or that have arisen between the two of you in a way that... Um, is confronting, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think, I think more, more than one occasion, this person's kind of like been caught out and, 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 you know, forced to face what's going on. Like, where's this all going? You know, what's going on between the two of us? What's your responsibility here? You know, judgment has a huge amount of gravity, gravity in it. And, um, it's asking you to really rise up and address your responsibility to be really honest and truthful about what's going on. And the seven of pentacles is a card of investment. It's about what you've, focused on in, in, in terms of putting down efforts and laying down foundations that, that really are about investing for not only today, but for tomorrow. And in the context of the relationship, I think this person's been really forced to look at, you know, just, you know, where, where you've all come from and where you're all at and, and where it's all going. But, um, you know, as soon as it gets complicated, this person kind of takes a step back in a way where, yeah, they just again, you know, it's, it's it's they don't want complication, you know. It comes back to the King of Swords again, you know, like a person who's just really thinking about their own needs first, you know. And if it gets complicated and how they have to think about how it makes you feel, and you know, putting your putting themselves into somebody else's shoes, it's like they're just they're just not doing any of that. Um, I felt they sat on the fence for a really long time in terms of where this connection is going. I feel like also with this person, it's like, you know, um, what's, um, what's yours is yours, what's mine is mine. You know, it's like, there's no sharing there. I kind of feel like it's, it's like you're not building anything that actually gives you a sense of duality, you know, um, connectedness, connectedness, sharing and caring. And you know, there's no investment on that particular level. But, but I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, like, I, I, I see something really attractive at the same time about who this person is. You know, uh, there's, there's, there's enormous strengths, great deal of sophistication, very complex individual who is a bit of a dark horse. Um, you know, very, very kind of quiet, broody type that has a lot going on in the head. You know, very intelligent, very savvy, uh, very quick-minded, uh, you know, a bit of a master planner in terms of having their, having their stuff together. Um, you know, they, they, can't, they kind of know where they're going on many other levels. You know, there's a strength there. There's a confidence that really cuts through all the crap. 
And, you know, there's a part of me that says I feel safe with that person because they're a bit protective like that. You know, I think that they could flip out if anything was going to threaten you in a way where they, yeah, I, I, you know, I kind of, so I kind of feel that they are maybe in a traditional way, somebody who is, is, is going to look out for you, you know, from an archetypal point of view, you know, you know, so, 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 but, you know, when it comes to the deeper aspect of a connection in terms of the sharing and caring stuff, I think that's, that's where it becomes a little bit more problematic for me. Um, yeah. Okay. So down here to the emperor and the 10 of wands. And I felt like for you, and I'm looking to the past. Okay. So, I just felt like you've been taking the slack for a really long time. And I feel like you've been picking up after this person, person left, right and centre. And, and you take it all on. Like you've taken it on like it's your responsibility to, to push this forward in a way that makes it successful. Um, I think also you've pushed to win them over in many ways as well. You've given, all, you've given a lot, you know, like you've actually put a lot into this in a way that, um, you know, you've, you've been incredibly determined. You know, the Ten of, the ten of Wands... It just like goes, 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 puts so much energy into, you know, making it happen. It's, it's sort of head, head, you know, head down, head down, bums up type thing, you know, like working really hard to, you know, just, just really giving it its all. And the emperor, you know, fuels that in a way where, you know, the emperor is a, is a card of success and determination as well. So these two cards doubled up. It's like, you know, really double whammy stuff in terms of like, yeah, I'm going to make this happen. If, if I, by hook or by crook, I will do whatever it takes to, to, to see this to a successful outcome. So, you know, I, th I feel like you've really seen the potential in where this can all go. And I, I, I can't, but I, but at the same time, I feel like this person has just drip fed you, you know, little bits and pieces. It's like a little, little, like, like putting down little, you know, um, bits of bread, you know, you know, like looking for you to kind of follow their trail in many ways. So they're kind of, they're kind of giving you a little bit to work with, but you know, just enough to kind of get you to kind of push hard to try and, and, and sort of, I guess, take the slack. Really, yeah, I, I hope that makes some sense. It's 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 almost like a little a little bit. I feel like you've been a little bit played here. I gotta be honest with you. I feel I feel like this person's known what you're like in terms of the effort that you put in, and that you haven't needed a lot to kind of take it to where it is and that you've kind of carried a, a, a lot of, you know, the responsibility here in terms of putting the effort in and, and, and kind of, and I feel like you've picked up after them greatly. Um, but it's definitely been energy overload and, 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 you know, like, and, and or overdrive. And I think, you know, you've actually been quite consumed by this person. And I, and I understand why, because this, uh, this person, you know, again, from a psychological point of view, there's, there's an enormous amount of complexity here, you know, and I think that this person kind of roped you in in a way where maybe you hadn't seen that coming. I think it's very much changed now. I think down here at the Devil and the Queen of Wands, and I felt for you that you're at a place where that it, it was like, you're really reassessing that commitment, you know, in, in, in light of them departing, moving on. Um... So, you know, I'm picking up quite a lot of resentment here in terms of the efforts that you've made. You know, the devil is a card of uncomfortable, um, mistrustful relationships. You know, often where you've been burnt with somebody, you know, things have broken down in a way where it's become very difficult. Queen of Wands, you know, kind of, you know, relates to, 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 to the ones that we see over here with the Ten of Wands and the effort that you've been making before, because I, I kind of feel like you've had to pull it back a bit. You know, it's like I, maybe you've been a bit exhausted by all of this, drained by the experience. Um, you know, reflecting on um, what it is that's happened, how much effort you've been putting on. At the same time, I also do feel very strongly here that you've actually been waiting for a response or keeping an eye out on, on, on what's going on. So your eyes on the horizon, you know, and maybe holding out that they'll actually give you a call, contact you on social media, you know, shoot you a text. Uh, you know, there's hope and desire there in a way that I felt, you know, you were awaiting a further response. You know, you, you, you're kind of looking for something to come. And that, and that, and the devil, you know, like it's a pretty saucy card. And, I, you know, like it, it gets onto your skin in a way where it's like becomes quite obsessive. You know, it's like, you know, you can't let it go, you know, and, and, and that, that, that understanding that you, that you put in so much effort and that you're waiting for something to come back from it is, is really getting under your skin. It's like, well, hang on a second. I've put so much into this and, and, you know, you cut me out of the picture. You've taken control in a way where 
you know, you've you've essentially put limitations on me in a way where I can't get what it is that I want. Now I want more, you know, um, but you're not letting me in. So I, th I, I feel that a big part of your process at this particular point in time is very much about understanding, you know, that um, there are limitations here. Um, that at some point you're going to have to accept. I think maybe at the moment you're unable to accept it. But, you know, the reflective process is also, it's like, my God, you know, the realisation that if it wasn't for me, none of this would have actually happened at the same time, that you've been doing it alone. I pulled some other cards here, and um, we've got win or lose. I feel that this is this is this is this is what the stakes are like with this particular person. I feel this reflects back onto their character in a way that you know essentially ma magnifies the the nature of what they're like. You know, at a deeper level, you know, it's very cutthroat. It's it really is win or lose. There's no there's no sharing there. There's no reconciliation, and you know, the stakes are quite high for this person. You know, it gets it gets very gamey, and and I think that their trust is 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 a bit of an issue. They find it hard to very very hard to trust in other people, and and as soon as they feel insecure or they feel that they might be opening up in a way that where they become vulnerable, there's a tendency to um to to to, to really kind of you know withdraw into a mindset that is about taking control of the situation. I, think, I kind of feel like this person's a bit of a control freak in all honesty. And I think you have to be very careful here. We've got choose your battles. You know, choosing a battle with this particular person, I think that that will actually get you into strife. This person will play to win and they'll actually pull out all the stops to make it happen. I don't feel that this person is going to do anything less other than to um, get really nasty if they really had to. Um, and that, that could be a lot of different things, you know, it just could be like some sort of psychological torment, or it could be that they're just absolutely ruthless and they don't really show any care or any remorse in their actions. Um, yeah, I, I would be really cautious there in terms of confronting this person in a way where, you know, you, know, you trigger their insecurities because I felt that they could be quite reactive and... Um, it might be really quite damaging to you as a person. I'm not saying, I'm not talking about violence necessarily. I mean, it could be the case for some of you, but a de definitely a person who just doesn't show any, any, any remorse or any, <laughs> certainly there's no care there in terms of their, you know, capacity to really understand how this makes you feel at an emotional level. I kind of feel like they're very detached as far as that's concerned. But where is this going? I mean, this, this is, this is the, the fundamental question today is where is this all going? I felt... In all honesty, this person was going to come back to you in a way where they would want to reconnect or return to the relationship over here at the Lovers and the Knight of Wands. And, you know, I, I really felt that they had made a decision in their absence from you over a period of time that they've decided that they wanted to have more with you. The Lovers is about, a, 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 you know, it's a card of intimacy and close relationships. It's about love, obviously. But it's also about making decisions. So it's about the um, ability to, to discern, uh, you know, over choice. And I felt that this person was returning to you because they wanted to have more to do with you in terms of this particular relationship. So I felt as far as they were concerned, you know, that was where things were going as far as an outcome and that they would want the relationship to take off. And I kind of feel that in many ways... They'll probably tell you what you want to hear, but they'll also realise that they'll really have missed you, um, you know, since they've been gone. <clears throat> and that the, the relationship is a, a, a real priority for them, okay? Now, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, and I think that that largely is dependent on you, in all honesty. And if we come down to here to the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles, I feel for you in terms of your overall process and in response to this person coming back to you it's it's almost like you're confronted with the reality that this is a really volatile dynamic that is a huge risk for you in terms of letting you down again in the future and that the gamble is something that you're not prepared to put yourself on the line for my feeling here is is that you know accumulatively, um, but also as an outcome with a great deal of self-reflection after a very uncomfortable period of feeling really pinched by this person. 
um, you know, that you will feel very unsupported and that by putting your hand up for more, you'll just get more of the same. I, I feel that where it's going for you as an individual is that you will realise that this has an enormous limitation in terms of a connection and that any kind of future would mean that you have to accept that um, essentially this particular relationship is going nowhere because this person cannot meet you at a deeper level in terms of your emotions. The card that I've pulled out as a final card is Disappointment. It's the Five of Cups. It's a, a card that reflects on disappointment that already, already exists, um, disappointment that is there in, in terms of you know existing, um, it, but it also indicates the ability to recover this relationship in a way where it does have potential. I do feel that this person will come back to you and that they will want to be involved with you in terms of taking the relationship to the next step. So there's definitely the potential for this to go somewhere, but I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah? Based on the actions of this person, based on the lack of heartfulness as far as their character is concerned, based on the fact that they have not put your, put your interests first, um, or considered how this really makes you feel um, in a way where they can give you the support that you really need to feel confident that this is the right way forward in terms of having a relationship, I, I don't feel that it's worth it. And I feel that you'll actually get to that point of realization yourself that it's 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 really about your own process. So I feel confident to say that the decision that you will make is, is going to be the right decision. This this relationship doesn't have your interests at heart. It doesn't have the love that you need for it to make it a, a success. I hope this reading has made some sense to you. And if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. Please like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon, that'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much and take care. Hi everyone, welcome to card four. This is your reading and here we are looking at the future outcome of the connection between you and this other person. So cards on the table, let's jump on in and have a look and see what's going on here. So drawn over here to the Fool and the Nine of Cups, really good start point to look at who this other person is. At. I get a real Peter Pan energy actually, somebody who is very flirtatious. Um, I would say that this is somebody who socially gets along with people really comfortably. You know, they're kind of out there in a in a way where they get a lot of attention. I think they're a little bit attention seeking. Um, they kind of flitter, you know, from one person to the other in terms of you know making connections and keeping things going at a very social level, very atmospherically attuned in a way where they can read the room and um, kind of take the lead and, you know, help people to feel really comfortable. I, I guess somebody who is almost really good at hosting people here. Um, very non-committal on one level, just in as much as, you know, when you're in the company of this particular person, you know, there, there's nothing too hard, nothing too fast, there's nothing too deep and complex and confronting, I, you know, like it's, it's, it, for me, it just kind of skims across the surface in a way where, you know, they say all the right things, they have all the right moves, they have all the looks, and there's just something very comfortable and appealing about who it is that they are as an individual. I felt that this person swept into your life quite quickly. You know, this could have been somebody who you've met maybe fairly recently, maybe in the last six months to a year, I, I didn't feel like there was a, a depth um, of, 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 of time here with this person that gave it a, you know, like a solid relationship feel. I kind of feel this is somebody who's, who's really kind of bounced into your life in a way where I, I sense that they, they, they've, they've, they've given a lot of signs to you that are very promising. You know, there's a, a lot of potential I feel here. But at the same time, this is somebody who really blows with the wind. <clears throat> 
And when I say that, I kind of feel like they're, they're fairly non-committal in, in, in many ways. Um, they like to go with the flow. I think when they're with you, okay, it's like you get this really fully present experience and they open up in a way where it's, it's very heartfelt, very connected and, and, and you know, there, there, there's a lot of love that comes through here. Do you feel that there's love here between you and this person? And I feel that when, yeah, by, by the same token, when they're not there, you know, they're fully disconnected. Like it's like they're, they're, they've gone. It's like they sweep in and they sweep out. And when they're there, they're very present and it makes you feel like this is going somewhere. Um, you know, you, you're very swept up in... I guess in the in, in in the in the nature of their character, really, there, there, there's something. Like, it's not enigmatic. I mean, that's a little bit too hard. It's a. It's just a bit more. It's very persuasive. You know what I mean? Like the it's the 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 influence is 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 one that that that, that soaks you up and and it le but it leaves you wanting more is what I feel. And I felt that this person was a bit of a Romeo. A bit of a player, maybe. You know, they're, 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 there is a flirtatiousness about them. When they're with you, they're fully with you, though. Uh, but, 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 but they like a lot of attention. You know, socially, they like to be out there. They like to get that validation and, and acknowledgement um, that people really like them. And um, I, don't, I don't know that it's about insecurity. I think, I think this, I felt the energy with this person was very good looking. You know, th that's the energy. You know, they could be good looking as a person. But, you know, like, uh, like people really positively engage and really like what this person has to offer. You know, they lighten the mood and they um, give you the sense of, yeah, feel good. It's a feel good factor. But there's a there's a little bit of there's a little bit of a control thing going on here because I feel that it's almost like they're leading you on a little bit, yeah. It's like you know it leaves you wanting more when they're with you. It's really it's really lovely, but it's not it's not going next level is what I'm feeling. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. I, I don't feel this is kind of going from what you've got into 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 a deeper commitment. And you, on the other hand, by contrast. I feel like you've been totally swept up by this person and you've really been taken by them in a way where your heartstrings are fully singing out, you know, for something more than you've got, you know, uh, you know, like the, the Queen of Cups is right up there in terms of that experience of feeling love. Um, so very involved at a heartfelt level. And I do feel that this person is actually on the same wavelength, maybe not at the same... Maybe not the same capacity that you are just at this point in time, um, but for you, I think I think you've been very very positively projecting about where this is all going in a way where you you fully believe that it can succeed. And the charity is very driven like that. It's a it's a card that really wants to sort of reach its aims and objectives in a way where it, you know uses a lot of willpower to make it happen. So you know, fully focused on this particular person, uh, and and you know, it's coupled with the Queen of Cups. So so the heart energy is right in there, planting you know seeds of success as far as this you know uh, understanding of of your connection to this person, and the desire to have a, a relationship with them that actually goes fully into the next level. So, a lot of positive stuff here, though slightly on the same, slightly on different pages as far as, as as far as your experiences are concerned. But if we come over here to the Empress and the Four of Swords, this person's gone really quiet. It's like all of a sudden there's no engagement whatsoever. You know, they're in a deep state of contemplation really trying to figure out, you know, if this is what they want with you. Um, I think they've been confronted by the idea of what the commitment means. I think it's thrown up some issues for them because they really need to think it through. And the Four of Swords is definitely a card where, you know, it's about withdrawing into a state of meditative contemplation as to, you know, uh, the issues at hand for them, because the Swords are all about issues. And I do feel that this person is being quite confronted by you because they understand what it is that you want. And the Empress is a card of productivity. It's an industrious card that really asks to, 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 to provide outcomes that are fruitful. Yeah. 
Yet this person is coupled with the Four of Swords and this person is taking time out to reflect on that idea as to whether that's really what it is that they want. So they're thinking it through, contemplating it. But, you know, it does confront them. You know, I've drawn here, confront. It confronts them for a lot of different reasons because it really makes them think about what is it they want. But more importantly, it actually forces this person to confront who it is that they really are and what is it they're capable of giving you. I feel that this is a bit of a Peter Pan situation. This is somebody who is kind of flitting around, having a really good time, enjoying themselves socially, you know, very warm to a lot of different people, in, enjoys the social contact and the potential of, of, of all sorts of different relationships, not just the idea of a romantic relationship. And, you know, the idea of actually making a commitment to somebody in a more fully forced manner as far as devoting into an emotionally loving commitment confronts them because at the end of the day, they have to give a part of themselves up in order to, to, to be with you. So, so that's actually quite a difficult thing. And at the moment, this person's really trying to figure out what that means for them. And I don't feel that they've actually got any answers just at this point in time. I have to be honest with you, I felt for some of you, you know, because the Empress is a card of motherhood. I wondered whether maybe for yourself, whether the idea of having kids was on the cards and that was something that you'd actually spoken about. Possibly, you know, that's a confronting idea for this person because this person's actually very childlike. I kind of feel like they want to be the big kid. You know, they want to be the centre of attention in terms of, you know, some more... Um, juvenile kind of uh, you know needs as far as far as their emotional state is concerned i feel like this person needs to be looked after um you know so 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 perhaps that's a bit of an issue but maybe not for everybody if we come down here to the high high priestess and the three of wands okay and i think at the moment this reflects where very much where you're at as a person i feel that there's a lot of uncertainty of, about the future at the same time, you know, you're you're waiting, you know, uh, you're waiting for things to become clear. You're not giving up any hope and you're certainly holding on for the potential of this to, to, to open up into a direction that actually gives you some really fruitful outcomes. The High Priestess is a card of uncertainty. It's about the future. So, you know, thinking about the future, but it's an uncertain future, obviously. It's coupled with the Three of Wands, which is a card of potential in terms of moving forward into a, you know, a greater potential in terms of the return of what you've invested into with this particular person. So I do feel that you see an enormous amount of potential and that you're projecting very positively into the future. And I think that you're very much like that as an individual. I think you're, you're a very caring person, very sensitively attuned, but you're also very driven in a way where once you make your mind up about what it is that you want, there's you know there's no there's no holding back. You don't have a tendency to give up very easily. So at the moment, you know you're sort of fully into the momentum of that particular focus as far as this connection is concerned, and you want a relationship with them. You're emotionally invested in a very high stakes way. Um, you see the potential as to where it is it, it is that it can all go. You're not prepared to give up just at this point in time, so you're holding out and waiting for things to come more clearly to you in terms of a sign from this person who is obviously taking time out to figure out what it is that they want. Now, where is this all going? That's actually the, the million dollar question. So let's cut to the chase and figure out what this all means in terms of an outcome. I felt that over here with the Tower and the Page of Cups, that this person is going to refuse to grow up, okay? I, I really feel here that this person lacks the skills from an emotional point of view to make this particular connection work. I think the difficult part that I feel about this person is that they're going to say no to you without saying no to you. And that's really tricky because once again, if we come back to this card, confront the idea of actually confronting themselves is very difficult, but confronting the truth of what this means in terms of the connection to you is even more difficult. They, they don't have that level of sophistication in terms of their ability to articulate how it is that they really feel. And they tend to shy away from difficult conversations that are about um, maybe cold and prickly, um, uh, you know, concepts that might hurt you or, or, or possibly hurt them. They just want to kind of go with the flow and keep things nice and easy. And 
make it non-committal and just make it up as you, as you go along. So the idea of taking it to the next level is very difficult for them. I, I felt that their input with you would diminish. I think that that's actually the di difficult part of it. What really sabotages this connection with you is this childishness, yeah? Um, they're, they're, they have this unreliability about them and a lack of emotional dimension that actually goes really deep into this experience of actually making this into a really loving, deep connection, which is definitely, the seed is definitely there. You know, when they're present with you, you can see that potential, which is why you don't want to give up on them. But at the same time, um, they lack the skills to be able to go to the next level. And they also don't want to give up this social interaction with other people that gives them a sense of, of, of validation. And it's, it's a part of something that they really enjoy. Um, it's, it's a big part of who it is that they are. And yeah, again, the it's the childishness here for me that really undermines the, 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 the potential of where this can really go. Coming down here to the world and the seven of wands, I felt that you would inevitably move on, that you'll let go. I, I feel also, because you know, you're quite a driven person. I think you're very, your head's really screwed on in terms of, of knowing what it is that you want. And if you know that something doesn't work for you, then you're not gonna pursue it in a way that, you know, it will lead, lead to your detriment. Um, I felt that you would actually push back on this person in a way where you're sort of saying, it's not my problem, this is actually your problem. And I don't have any time to waste on you. I feel very much that um, you'll get to a point, you know, the, what I love about the world, the world is a card of success. And, you know, the seven of, of wands, you know, this is about main, maintaining position, keeping on top of demand. It's like, it's like you, you know how to make a success of your world, but you also know what's out there in terms of the demand. You know that there are other fish out there in the sea. And I think it's about recognizing what it is that you actually have to offer above and beyond this particular connection. I'll be honest with you, I don't feel, as much as this is a difficult reading, because I can see that you're really involved at an emotional level with this person, I also have a really great deal of confidence here as to your character and you know the tenacity and the integrity of who it is that you are, what is it you know about yourself? There's a surety here for me, you know, a, a, a clarity of, of purpose, most definitely in terms of what you want in a relationship. But I don't feel that you're a person that's actually going to waste a whole load of time over somebody who's actually messing you about. And essentially that's what this person is really doing. So I felt, I felt that you would be the one that would actually move on in a way that detaches from this particular connection, that you'll see that there's no future in it, okay? Because this person's just not gonna grow up anytime soon. They're not gonna, they're not gonna face the, I guess the, 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 the requirements to make this a stable connection. You know, they're not gonna invest at an emotional level because they don't have the emotional capacity to be able to actually make that into a reality. This person is, this person is, this person is definitely, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you, sorry, distracted by a telephone call coming in there. Um, this person is definitely, yeah, a fi like a final card, you know, just to, to kind of clarify what that is. You know, this person is never going to say no to you. you know, they're going to keep it going. They're going to egg it on. They're going to, to, to they're going to kind of give you what you want to hear. They'll leave. They'll lead you on, but they'll never give you a, a, a clear purpose as to where they feel that this can really go. It's just one moment to the next, and that's just not sustainable for you. So I feel that you will be the one that will break this off and that you will move on in a way where you know what you have to offer and that this is just not good enough for you. I hope this reading has made some sense to you. And if it has, please feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is that you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much and take care.